I love applique, and Hatch makes it so easy to create them. I'm Linda Goodall, and in this video, we'll look at tools for creating applique. So here's a sample applique from the Hatch library. Let's go to a blank design, and I'll show you the easiest way to create applique, and that's to start with a object, and we'll just go to the standard shapes, and we'll pick a shape. How about this heart? Click OK, drag it out, and there it is. Because it's a closed object, I can now use the Convert to Applique after I select it and turn it into pretty much an instant applique. But chances are there isn't a shape in there that you want to use. Usually we're working from artwork. So let's do this pumpkin. If my pumpkin is rather small, and this guy is, he's about four inches maybe, I might want to just digitize the pumpkin and add his facial details later with a satin or tatami fills. In that case, I'll use the Digitize Applique tool. And this works exactly like the Digitize Closed Shape tool. So I'll start here with a left click, and I'll just do some right and left mouse clicks around my design. And if I don't get it exactly right, well, it may not be any big deal, or I may want to just tweak it afterwards. There's my applique. But suppose I want to make this jack-o'-lantern bigger and I want to have cutouts in his eyes and his nose and his mouth. What do we do then? I'll select it, hit delete, and let's choose a more pumpkin-y color, shall we? Select the artwork and we'll enlarge it. This time, I'll choose digitize applique with holes. And as before, I'll just right and left mouse click around. I'll stop short of that last point and hit enter. Now if we look down here on the status bar, it says enter point one on boundary two. So I'm just going to start with this eye, work around for this eye, and if I don't get it quite right, I can always use the reshape tool and come back and fix things. This one's easy, it's all just left clicks. Now that I've got all my points entered, I'm just going to press enter again to tell Hatch that I'm done creating my shapes. And now we have one applique unit. So if we turn our fabric on, so I need to press escape to release the applique tool. Click my fabric, click color, and click an orange, click OK. And notice that the fabric is just in the pumpkin area and I have cutouts for his eyes and nose. Now remember I said earlier I could use reshape. I'm going to press H so you can just see that, you know, if you don't get it quite right, you can always come in and fix it later. So any of the methods I've just shown you to create an applique, we have choices over here for settings. For example, the cover width here is 2.5, that's the default. I'm going to change that to 3 because I like a little bit tinier, wider border. We can also set offsets and we can do pre-cuts and we'll save that for another time. 